Hey, what's up? It's Tony. A uh, question today was, um, how long after uh, my surgery, my prostatectomy, um, did I go back to urinating correctly or properly or like before? Um, I would say, in my case, probably to really get back to doing going to the bathroom to really holding it without having to worry about leaking or a pad or any of that other stuff and sleeping through the night. It probably took me about, probably about six to eight weeks, um, maybe even a little bit longer, or maybe uh, a little bit longer than that to feel truly comfortable without worrying that when the sensation to go to pee would happen that I wouldn't just go and I was able to hold it until I got to a restaurant or, not to a restaurant, until I got to um, you know, the bathroom or the washroom. Um, there was a retraining period of time where I was practicing you know, strengthening you know, um, those muscles down there to control the flow of urine. And uh, that took some time because before I couldn't, and basically you know, when the thought came to mind of going to the bathroom, I would literally just have to go in that moment. And so that took some getting around. And I have to tell you also too, it did hurt. Um, for um, a little while, probably about five to seven days um, after the surgery, maybe a little bit longer, right? The sensation to actually urinate on my own without the catheter after having it for so many months was actually uh, a bit painful. Um, I don't know if I've ever said this before, but it was like, you know, imagine, um, you know, uh, you're urethra is like a dry riverbed and then all of a sudden it's getting water after it's been like you know crackled and dried inside and all of a sudden it's getting water and so there was a painful period where it kind of stung and it kind of felt like it was burning and so you know i would want to clench up and not urinate like you know and let myself empty my bladder fully and so um, um my doctor uh, the nurses at the urologist's office had suggested to me you know told me, you can't hold it you know you have to expel you know the urine and so um you know that took a minute to get used to because it would always i would always tense up because it would hurt and i didn't want that pain to happen so it wasn't a debilitating kind of pain it was just like a stinging sensation um that slowly over time went away until there was nothing so um it was probably i say you know to answer the question fully probably about a good two three months where I was actually um, peeing regularly, peeing on my own without pain, without any fear of um, leaking, because um, there were a few leaks here and there. Um, <laughs> I'll save that for another video where it's just like, you know, now you know about that, that now I know about that thing that women have after they have a, a pregnancy and they laugh and they dribble or they squirt. So yeah, that kind of happened, but that's another story. But anyways, um, yeah, so, uh, now, um, no problems at all, but probably going to take about, you know, uh, a good, good few weeks, depending on your body and, and, and your personal recovery time and your retraining. All right, so expect that. It's not just going to happen. Uh, it's not going to go back to what it used to be that quickly. All right, so be patient and hang in there.